Okay, welcome back, senior four candidates uh, of Uganda. Uh, this is the second part of the electricity series with me, your host, uh, Mr. Mandy Dennis. And I, I just want to take you through the summary of what we learned in part one. We looked at charges, the quantum of electricity flowing from one point to another in a circuit. And we looked at electric currents as the rate of flow of charge in a circuit. Sometimes I just ask you to define current. It's the same thing. Electric current and current is the same. And the column, we define it as the quantum of electricity. That is the charge, which passes any point in a circuit in one second. When a steady current of one ampere is flowing, we went ahead and defined the potential difference as the work done in moving one column of charge from one point to another in a circuit. And we said electric core resistance, which we call resistance, we define it. We defined it as the opposition to the flow of current in the circuit. And we actually had some formulae that were very important for us to remember. One was that of the work which is done or the energy expended when current is flowing. Um, and we talked about it as 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 the product, as the product of the charge and the the voltage or the PD. Remember this can be written written as Q because Q is equal to IT, so you can write it as VIT. Yeah. From there. Q is equal to IT, which is I is equal to Q over T. So today I, I want us to actually start by looking at the exercise that I left behind, which was a charge of 200 columns is transferred between two points in two minutes. The potential difference between the two points is 10 volts. So part A was calculate the current flowing and part B the work done for that current to flow, for that charge to be moved from one point to another. And so we actually, I'm so proud of the people that have already forwarded to us the, the results they found out. Thank you so much. And please continue that way. Don't accept to be left behind. Uh, do every exercise that we put here and then post it immediately to our WhatsApp group and, and you get a response immediately. So the solutions were very simple. Part A, I is equal to Q over T. The, the Q, the charge is 200 coulombs, so you write 200 over the time. The time is 2 minutes, but remember, time should be in seconds. The S int of time is seconds. So you have to write it as 120 seconds. So when you divide 200 columns by 120 seconds, you end up with 1.666 recurring, which you can round off as 1.67 amperes. Part B, the work done is QV, which is 200 times 10. You get 2,000 choose. On the other hand, you can choose to, to use VIT because you already have the I here. Yeah, it's fine. But there, there you're going to have an error because you will have rounded off the the eye. So if if you passed it, uh, you can mark yourself. If you forwarded it to us and we, we marked, well and good. And please, if you're watching this this part, part two as your first part, remember to refer back to the first part and watch it first. Please. Electricity part one. Senior for electricity, current electricity part one. Thank you. Now let's dive into the second one. So today we're going to look at the electrical circuits. The circuits you've learned from P7 are uh, the ones we're going to explore. Please enjoy. Now a circuit, as we all know, is a complete flow of an electric current or charge. So to draw a circuit, you, you draw the different circuit components using their symbols. So we're going to explore the symbols one by one. The connecting wires, which we all know, you just draw a line. Yeah. Like if you look at, this is a group of wires. We've seen these wires before. We have them at home. They are connecting to the bulbs in your house where you're seated, to the TV, to the charger of the phone. They are everywhere around us. So the connecting wires are represented with the lines. Uh, this is just one wire, but then the, the image I've I showed here has so many of them. So we have resistors 
I don't know whether you've ever seen resistors before. Resistors are represented you in this way. You draw a box and then you put uh, the, the two lines at the end to show the terminals. The resistors are those things you've always seen in your radios and the TVs that you didn't know what they are. And this is how they look here. Yeah, those ones. Actually, um, there are quite many. Now, there are color codes. Knowing what each color stands for is not part of the olive, so please don't worry about that. Because if you look at this, this image here, it shows you different ones. There are different ones. There are quite many. Yeah, quite, quite many. Um, hmm. The switch. Ah, we all know switches. Yeah, just like that. That is a symbol. And these are the diagrams. In the laboratory, we are going to be using this. I know someone may say, ah, is that a switch really? Yes, this is a switch. Okay, this is a switch and this is what we are going to be using in our experiments of electricity. Yeah, you get this one and you put it here. You put it here. So you connect it to end up with this kind of setup. That is completing the circuit. Yeah. Yeah, these are the ones that you know. Yeah, at least this someone will say, yes, this is the switch. The other ones were not switches, they were switches. This is a switch, this is a switch, even this one is a switch. Okay. And now we have cells, ah, we know cells. Everyone knows cells, dry cells, wet cells, different types of cells, as we shall explore in the, in the later chapters of this part. Now the cells are represented in a, a cell is represented just with, in this way. Uh, we have the, the we have two terminals. The longer one is the positive, and the shorter one is the negative. Please mark that. The longer one is the positive. This is positive. This is negative. Positive is the longer one, the taller one. So you've seen these tiger heads before. This is a cell, one dry cell. Now, people always mistake the word battery with a cell. You'll find battery, they put a battery. No, a, a cell, this is just one cell. Now, you have seen many types. Yeah, this is just a cell, a cell, a cell, a cell. So, how many cells are here? Yeah, I think they are around six. There's one here and then five of these. Remember, a group of cells connected together <coughs> forms what we call a battery. So, a battery is a group of connected cells. So a battery is represented in this way. You have different cells connected, or you can have that uh, two cells at the end. Then in the middle, we are having that there are many others in there. So you've seen lead acid accumulators. This is one of the batteries. You've seen these ones. And then, uh, yeah, different diagrams, different images. They are in different types, but they are all batteries then we have ammeters the ones that are used to measure current uh, you just draw a circle with an A in that's an ammeter and that's how it looks we will see the details when it comes to the practicals of the ammeters how you use them how we should read them how we connect to them everything shall be covered in details then we have a voltimeter a voltimeter which measures voltage that means it measures the PD, potential difference, and also the EMF, electromotive force. So we have a V. The difference between the voltmeter symbol and the ammeter symbol is just in the letter that is inside that circle. You see that? The V for the voltmeter, the A for the ammeter. So voltmeter just looks like the ammeter, but you see the V. The V is there. It's just right here. There is a V here. Okay. We have a filament bulb. Hmm. Who doesn't know a bulb? Everyone knows a bulb. I guess you even know that symbol. Eh? Some people never expected it to come out this way. Yeah. You just draw a circle, then you put something like the entrance of a church. Okay. But like that. And and oh, on the other hand, you can draw a circle, and then you cross through. Either way, it's accepted. And the bulbs are this one, the filament lamps, or the bulbs. So the symbol is this or that, any of the two. Uh, okay, now we have 
the re rheostats and resistance boxes. These are called the variable resistors. The resistors that we looked at at first are fixed. They are called the fixed resistors. So these are the symbols. You'll find a box. This is for a resistor, but with a line crossing through an arrow. So even here can be drawn like this. Either way, um, this is a resistor. Actually, there's something I didn't show you. I, I didn't show you. Uh, let me just put it here. <clears throat> there's something I didn't show you. A resistor can be drawn also like this. You may find something like that. That is a resistor. They, they will they will just draw and then you put this this is a resistor and if it's a real start they cross through as a real start so that's a real start um, the diagrams that is a real start this is a resistance box yeah there are two types of resistance boxes. There is this one which has a dial for dialing. To know how to use each one of them, please don't worry. It's not part of the, of the, of the especially the resistance boxes. It's not so much explored in, in, in this part. We shall do it in the practical bit of it. Yeah. All you have to know is that this is a resistor, a resistance box, and a resistance box. Then we have a milliameter. This is an ammeter, basically, which measures a very low currents. We talked about it. So, MA, milliameter. So, the milliameter is, is just like an ammeter, but you see, it has, it has an MA. Or you can have it in this style. Either way, it works. Galvanometer. Galvanometer is a circle just with an arrow. This is a center zero galvanometer. Yeah. A thing. Now the earth thing, the earth thing is 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 a uh, is common. You've seen it it before. You just find uh, you connect to the earth. There is a wire that connects to the earth. So this is just an a, a sample of someone a thing, a thing maybe a circuit component like this. So fuses a fuse. You draw a box, but the line crosses through. Or you can have this style that is a fuse um you have seen fuses before yes if you look at your cables the power cables electric cables of, of, of your flat irons at home of your laptops the adapters they have those cables there that have these things um, and fuses uh, will, uh the fuses the role of the fuse it is is to ensure that the current that flows through a circuit doesn't go above or beyond a specified amount like this one this one cannot allow current to flow beyond 13 amperes this one for 5 amperes if it goes beyond 13 the fuse will melt or it will blow so once it blows it will disconnect the the, the circuit that means no more current flows and therefore it protects uh, the delicate components of the circuit like the gadgets your TV will be protected your laptop will be protected your phone and and any other any other device that's connected to the current transformers oh this is a transformer we've seen transformers before that is the symbol of a transformer yeah okay diodes diode Yes, this is uh, this is just a device that allows current to flow in one direction. It's called a diode. Uh, the diagrams are here. Images. We have this. That you've seen them before. This is how they are represented. Okay. Now I want now to dive into some more sensitive areas of the current electricity. This is what we call Ohm's law. Ohm's law is a law. Please, we are not saying Ohm's law in Luganda.